Hey everyone, it's Joe and welcome back to Human Fluence, where we go beyond the surface, question what we think we know, and uncover deeper truths about ourselves and the world. Today I want to talk about freedom, real freedom. It's not what we're used to hearing. Real freedom isn't just about doing whatever you want or having no rules. It's about living in a state of authenticity, where nothing outside of you holds control over you. And let me tell you, that kind of freedom changes everything. Imagine waking up each day without the weight of limiting beliefs, expectations, or identities that weaken your true potential. Imagine a life where your choices come from a place of pure alignment with who you really are, not from fear, not from societal pressures, not from old wounds or attachments. When you're truly free, you're no longer controlled by anything outside yourself. You are no longer a product of circumstances. You become a creator of your own reality. We've been taught to look at freedom as the ability to act without restrictions. That's still a game of the mind, the ego. True freedom, the kind I'm talking about. It's about transcending the limitations of the mind, letting go of attachments, and returning to your authentic self. And this isn't just a lofty ideal. This is a powerful shift, a change that happens from within and reflects outward. When you start detaching from everything that doesn't serve you, everything that limits you, you reclaim your power. So how do we start? It begins with recognizing the attachments that drain us. Every belief, every concept, every identity that we hold onto, they're all webs that we've cast out, attaching our energy to things that may no longer serve us. Think of each attachment as a little drain siphoning off your energy. The more attachments you have, the weaker you are energetically. When we're attached to ideas, roles, relationships, or material things, they become our masters. They control us, but when we begin to detach, we take our power back. This process isn't about letting go of everything or isolating ourselves. More so about realizing that we are not what we're aware of. We are the awareness itself. We are not our thoughts. We're the space within which those thoughts arise. And in that space, we find our true self, free, boundless, and powerful. When we detach, we bring our energy back to ourselves in the present moment. No longer fragmented, scattered across a thousand identities and beliefs, we become whole, aligned, and ready to create from this place of truth. Now let's talk about the ego, the false identity we build over time. We attach to labels, roles, emotions, experiences. We believe this is who we are, but this is just the ego mind at work. It's the part of us that says, I am this, I am not that. But let me tell you, the ego knows nothing. The finite mind doesn't know anything. It's constantly searching, scanning, endlessly grasping for information to fill a void that it can never fill. The ego is voracious for knowledge because it lacks true knowing. But real knowing, real understanding doesn't come from the mind, it comes from being fully present and fully aware. The ego has one goal, to keep us in the illusion of separation, to make us believe that we are limited by our bodies, our beliefs, our past experiences. But the truth is, we're limitless. We're not confined by these mental constructs. When we detach from them, we return to our normal, natural state of freedom. And in that state, we can create without limitation, no longer held back by what we think we should be or what others think we should do. And this brings me to the power of our words. Every word we speak creates an energetic contract with the universe. When we speak from our true self, we create with intention, authenticity, and power. But when we speak carelessly, we give energy to illusions. Imagine if you only spoke what you tangibly knew to be true. If every word you said came from a place of alignment with your true self. How different would your reality be? How powerful would you feel? And let's not forget the power of imagination. Everything, every creation, every innovation, every vision starts with imagination. Our entire reality is a product of our imagination, our inner vision projected outward. Don't think outside the box, remove the box entirely. The more we engage with our imagination from a place of true alignment, the more limitless our potential becomes. 
The boundaries we perceive are only there because we allow them to be. When we're attached to beliefs or roles, they shape the limits of our imagination. But through detachment, we're free to create without restriction. Stepping into our creative power, bringing forth realities that reflect our true essence. We are the light that creates everything around us. We are both light, shining, and light, weightless, unburdened by false identities. And we're the very light that illuminates the shadows around us. So how do we move forward? It starts by asking ourselves, what do I truly know? And the answer, if you're honest, is nothing. The finite mind doesn't know anything. True wisdom, true knowing is something we experience, not something we think. It's found in the stillness, the silence, in the presence of simply being. The more we rest in this presence, the more we uncover the truth of who we are. And the truth is, we are limitless creators, fractals of the divine capable of bringing forth realities that align with our highest self. Every time we detach from a false belief or limiting identity, we move closer to that truth. We step into a state of freedom, no longer needing external validation or guidance. Everything we need is already within us. We're not seeking answers outside. We're remembering our own inner wisdom, reconnecting with the I am, that eternal essence within each of us. So let's make a commitment today to start detaching from anything that doesn't serve our true self. Let's pull back our energy from beliefs, roles, or attachments that drain us. Let's speak with intention, create with imagination, and live from a place of authenticity. Let's embrace the truth that real freedom doesn't come from the ability to do whatever we want. It comes from the ability to live as we truly are, without masks and without fear. If you're ready to live in that truth, start today. Ask yourself what you really know, what you're truly attached to, and what you're willing to let go of to step into your full power. Remember, real freedom starts within. Reclaim your energy, your voice, and your vision. And use them to create a life that reflects who you truly are. Human influence out. <laughs>